What's good YouTube? It's your girl Kid and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I would like to share with you guys the retailers that have confirmed that they will have the next gen consoles available for the week of Black Friday with the exact times and dates. So I will go over all of that information with you all and I will share with you some of the other stores that you should keep an eye on for possible restocks. First store up is Best Buy. So as you can see, the first wave happened November 22nd but the second wave will be November the 26th. Now that's Thanksgiving Day and it will be online only. And they will also do another wave November the 28th. Now I expect for Best Buy to go live around midnight, 12 a.m. Eastern time like they usually been doing. But make sure to prepare yourself to stay up a little late during these restock times because some of the stores don't go live until 12 a.m. Pacific time. And that is a three hour difference. So please make sure you are up at the right times according to your time zones. Also, you guys, please make sure that you are following all of the right Twitter accounts and make sure that you have their notifications turned on because these Twitter accounts work day and night tweeting out possible restocks and whenever consoles go live, they tweet out the direct links as soon as possible. So please make sure that you're following all these Twitter accounts and I will have all the Twitter accounts in the description below now let's talk about walmart now i get it walmart is probably one of the least favorite stores at the moment due to all of the chaos that happens whenever they do a launch since they have not put up any sort of defense towards the bots but walmart will have ps5s available november the 26th at 9 p.m eastern time online only so hopefully by that time everyone is off work and on their computers ready to go now, if you look over here, you see I have this little browser extension over here. This browser extension is called OctoShop. I talked about this browser extension and other little tips and tricks that you can use to get little notifications and alerts and help you really stay on track to when the these consoles launch. And if you want to know more information about OctoShop or more little tips and tricks to help you secure a next gen console, make sure you check out my previous video that I did on the PS5 launch. I'll leave that video link in the description below. Now, if you are still unsuccessful with the online launches, and by the time November the 27th gets here and you still don't have a PS5 on the Xbox, GameStop has confirmed that they will be going by first come, first serve basis. So if you want to camp out in front of GameStop all night to take your chances, there's your opportunity. But I will warn you that GameStop has also announced that nationwide they will have a minimum of two consoles per store so the best chance of you getting a ps5 from gamestop is to be either number one or number two in line because they just said they will have a minimum of two they did not announce their maximum numbers they could have a minimum of two but the max could be three at a particular store so just be there very very early and please be careful if you are going to camp out anywhere because it is very risky and dangerous Make sure you are aware of all of your surroundings. Before you plan on camping out in front of GameStop, I suggest you go by there like a day or two before just to check and see if they have put up their signs that tell you how many they have in stock. Now those are the stores that have already confirmed their exact times and dates for the restocks this week. Now let's talk about the other stores that could possibly do a restock this week as well. The first store is Sunny Direct. Sunny Direct is where I was able to get through and get my console. Now, whenever it goes live, they put you in a queue. The earlier you get into the queue, the better chances you have to get in the PS5. The good thing about Sunny Direct is that you have to have a PSN account to make a purchase from them. You want to already have all of your payment information and shipping information stored on your Sunny account just to speed up the checkout process. They also offer free two-day shipping to PlayStation Plus members. Sunny Direct also restocks pretty frequently around the same time, 12 p.m. Pacific. Another store to be looking out for is Amazon. Now, Amazon is known for doing random restocks, so it will be very beneficial for you to follow those Twitter accounts and have the notifications on so you will be notified whenever any of these stores launch consoles. Whenever Amazon goes live, they usually sell out in minutes, but Amazon is like one of the biggest retailers out of all the other stores mentioned before. But if you are lucky enough to get through on Amazon, keep in mind that they do offer free shipping for Prime members. Next up, we have Target. Target restocks their stores every week, and you can also keep track of Target inventory using PopFinder.com. 
Select Target stores are also doing first come, first serve, so I suggest calling up your local Target and ask to speak to a manager or just stop by to see for yourself. Another store that has been doing restocks is Ann Online. Ann Online is only doing bundle deals for the PS5s and the Xbox Series X. So I highly suggest that you guys are staying active on Twitter and make sure you have all the right pages followed with notifications on so you guys will get all the upcoming information about restocks and when the consoles go live. I will have the Twitter accounts in the description below as well as my previous video giving out tips and tricks on how to secure a next gen console. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you all for watching.